I just want to ask in relation to autism, uh, what pathways are there to ensure that um, autistic children have defined pathways for those who have exceptional abilities, particularly in the area of mathematics or arts or um, whatever subjects it might be? So how are those uh, exceptional abilities um, developed uh, within the education system? Thank you. Uh, Brendan, I'd be grateful if you could respond. Yeah, thank you. Um, one of the key principles that underpins the, um, the special education teacher model is that the students with the greatest level of need should get the, the greatest level of support. Now, um, that the, the determination of, of which student requires the greatest level of support in the school it lies with the school. So that, that removes the need for a diagnosis. So if, if you have, for example, students in the school with exceptionally high ability uh, who require additional support to ensure that they're meeting uh, their, their cognitive abilities and so on and so forth, well, that should be, uh, that student should be uh, supported to avail of whatever support can be provided from the special education teacher, or it could be project work, or it could be a whole range of, of uh, work that would be um, provided for the student. But it, it doesn't, uh, be because the student has an exceptionally high ability, it doesn't preclude them or shouldn't preclude them from accessing support at the level of the individual school. 